What's up YouTube? My name is Jeff, also known as the Anabolic Coach. Welcome back to my channel. Last few days, yes, I know I didn't make a video, but I was on vacation. It was nice, you know, being away from work, being away from my girl. And yeah, well, anyways, let's cut to the chase. So we're going to talk about the top five steroids for strength. Now, there's a few things I haven't, there's two things on the list I haven't tried personally, but we're still going to talk about it, which I think are still amongst the top five here for my list. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the two things first that I haven't tried, and then we'll go through the other three. So first things first, check drops. So check drops is used by, you know, powerlifters, fighters, you know, in the UFC, um, boxing, MMA. So it's, it increases in, uh, aggression, focus. Uh, I think the half-life, I have it over here, it's like four hours. So it's not too long in the system or it's not in the system for too long. It's dosed 250 micrograms per um, dose. So, and it's usually dosed with uh, liquid instead of, I think, instead of pills. Now it's usually done, it's usually taken 30 minutes before your workout or 30 minutes before your fight, whatever you're doing with it. Um, something you should only probably run for about two weeks max just because of how toxic it is. Now, that's number five. Number four, we're going to talk about uh, halo testin. Now, halo testin is also highly toxic. Most of the things on here are highly toxic, just to let you guys know. Uh, Half life's about nine hours. Dosing is about 20 uh, milligrams per dose. Um, the great thing is, no water since there's no estrogenic activity, which is pretty much most of the stuff on this list, anyways. You could run it for about four weeks max. It rapidly increases red blood count. So donate blood if uh, if you can, please. <laughs> to avoid a heart attack and whatnot. Um, but great strength gains. So those are the two things I haven't tried personally. Now let's go ahead and talk about the stuff I have tried. Uh, so number three, methyltren. Now methyltren always has a place in my heart. For one, yes, it is trend. I feel like it's the strongest version of trend. I've tried both the oral and the injectable uh, of trend, of well, methyltren. So it's it's has a short half life of about three hours. Okay. Now one milligram is usually the dose. Now that doesn't really seem like a whole lot, but trust me. It's really fucking strong. So don't take 50 milligrams of it in one go if if you decide to do that, which would be horrible. Uh, it's very toxic, even with the injectable version. Um, you still have the same look as Tren, but I feel like it's still a lot stronger when it comes to strength gains. Something I would only run about two to four weeks max. I've tried, like I said, the both oral and injectable version. I do prefer the injectable because you can run it for a little bit longer without feeling like shit. Because you're going to feel like shit. Your piss is going to get dark. Even if you drink a ton of water, you're really going to feel the effects fast. You'll look good. You'll be strong. But you'll be like a zombie. Which is just like number two here. Super Joel. Now, Super Joel. Half-Life about eight hours. It's a usually about 10 milligrams for the dose. You could go up to... Uh, 20 or 30 milligrams. Uh, so not only does it increase strength, but it also gives you a nice look uh, to your physique for about, I feel like 20 days and then it just kind of like stops giving you that specific look or it doesn't like increase the look. Um, you can run it for about three, four weeks max. Unless you have a strong liver, you can do a low dose, like five milligrams for extended time frame. But at that point, I don't think the strength games would be that noticeable unless you're doing a higher dosage um also it's one of those things yes after about three four weeks you're just you're gonna feel like you want to walk into traffic and it's gonna suck okay now it is once again a dry compound so no water retention um super joel is a personal favorite of mine like i said i can run it like personally 10 milligrams for eight weeks or even stretch it to 10 uh, but if it's like 20 milligrams and I will do like five weeks, six weeks, 30 milligrams, three or four weeks. So it, it really depends on the person, um, how you're feeling and how tired 
you are. Okay. Now, number five, Anadrol. So, Anadrol. The thing about Anadrol. Um, now, it's it's way less toxic than the others. It's not as strong as the others. Uh, typical dosing is about 50 milligrams for like a dose. Um, I would go to 200 milligrams total, honestly, in a day, which I have. And I've done it for, I think, four weeks max. Either four or five weeks at 200 milligrams. And I felt completely fine. Strength is great. Strength is amazing at 200 milligrams. You don't feel like death. It gives a nice rounded physique look. Now it's not as dry as Super Droll. Super Droll will make you look better, but Anadrol will make you look bigger. Now, you're not really gonna care if you're watching this video for strength, but just letting you guys know. Now, yeah, so some guys can run at 200 milligrams, some guys only 50. Like I said, this is something that depends on the person. I can do, uh, I've done 100 milligrams for like, 12 weeks before I've only done the 200 milligrams for four or five weeks something like that um, without too much of an issue I think my blood pressure didn't really go up that much anyways but it usually goes up when I drink caffeine drinks or uh, energy drinks so those are the top five let's just go through it again uh, so check drops number five number four halo testin three methyl trend two super droll and then one anadrol so yeah that's it go ahead and like comment subscribe down below visit my website theanaboliccoach.com i still need to do some more posting on there uh, but i do also need some more uh, members on there so we can actually uh, have some conversations and talk so also i do coaching at the anabolic um wait no the anabolic coach at gmail.com so once again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.